The highest number of pilgrims who have so far entered Namgongo to celebrate Mother's Day due on Monday 3rd June are mainly from outside. Many of them from far districts have been trekking for kilometers. A number of pilgrims arrived fatigued, some nursing red eyes, others, especially the elderly, having hypertension. Really uh, um, fatigue, um, body pains, because uh, as you know, many of these pilgrims walk long distances uh, to come here. So, so, so when they arrive here, they have a lot of uh, mechanical body issues. At the free health camp conducted by Mulago National Faro Hospital, over 200 pilgrims have been screened and given first aid. Uh, but now we are handling people who are fighting because also they moved long journeys. Secondly, because they the uh, shortage of maybe some services like water and some are fainting because of overstanding and some are fainting because of uh, too much sunshine for now, it's not raining. The internal medicine physician at Mulago National Referral Hospital, Dr. David Wamala, told UBC that the cases so far handled mainly include those with fatigue, red eyes, cough, high blood pressure and dehydration. Of uh, emergencies, um, some people um, collapse uh, during the, the prayers, others uh, are dehydrated, others uh, have very, very low sugar levels in their bodies. So we are, so, so, so we are basically here to, to, bring, to bring them back to life. So far they have handled mild cases and those with a few emergency cases, especially the elderly with hypertension, have been referred for further management. Uh, basically, the, the elderly, many of them came here, they forgot their drugs at home, so the pressures have gone up a bit, so we are giving them uh, um, a few uh, pressure medicines for a few days, and uh, when they go back to their various homes, we are advising them to go back and see their doctors. Among other health services pilgrims are receiving from the health camp include immunization of children, yellow fever vaccination, and the warming of pilgrims to manage effects of poor hygiene. Pilgrims have been advised to take precaution on their hygiene arising from congestion. We always get that challenge of a lot of rain with nowhere to protect ourselves. The second if there is a lot of sunshine like now, people are running away from where they are staying just to get a shade. So if they can improve in future to ensure that at least there is enough shade so that it can protect people against uh, rain and against uh, sunshine, then that could be perfect. On the other hand, business is booming in and around Namgongo Mata site with different stalls of different items mounted at every corner. We, we are dealing in land. We are selling land, selling land to people on at affordable prices. Pilgrims have been warned against conmen. Susan Naonga reporting for EBC TV. Yeah,